Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Matt, and today I wanted to talk about compelling material when learning a language. And I think this is really an important thing to consider as you learn a language because inevitably you want to have fun when you're learning a language, right? You want to use the most effective methods that you can, but also be having fun at the same time. And I think it's the wrong way to think about language learning, um, you know, or to think about language learning as this very arduous, very boring um, activity, right? You inevitably want to get to a point where you're having fun learning the language. And if you aren't at that skill level and you're kind of at a more beginner stage, at least set a goal to get to a place where you can start enjoying compelling content. And there's just so many different ways that you can, you know, enjoy the language learning process, right? It can be from read, like a reading perspective where you are reading books in a foreign language, you're reading newspapers, and you're enjoying that content, but you're also getting better at vocabulary acquisition and um, you're getting grammar review at the same time. Maybe you are practicing speaking with others and thus you're getting better at speaking and all the other aspects of, of the language process. Maybe you're listening to a podcast um, and it's, it's a podcast that's a, of a subject that you really like, and thus you're also getting better at your listening skills as well. So I think it's really important to like eventually get to a place where you know you're having fun and you're also learning the language, right? This intersection point between um, enjoying the material but also learning at the same time from like a vocabulary perspective, from a listening perspective, grammar, etc. And you know, um, that's really what's going to help take you to the advanced level in the end of the day, right? Because learning a language takes such a long time, um, you know, you really want to be having fun. And a lot of times, too, um, you know, it's, it's that compelling content that's going to get you there, right? It's going to help keep your motivation um, to get to that very advanced level. But also that compelling content that's definitely going to get you those words that you need from a vocabulary perspective, the um, ex time and exposure you need with certain grammar concepts to just that time and exposure with compelling content to get better at listening and, and things like that. Um, the thing is too that I think is really important to point out is that you know you don't have to just consume authentic um, content from the language that you're learning, right? Like for example, you don't just have to watch French movies, right? You can watch um, uh, French dubs over TV shows that you really like. Um, you know, if you don't have to just read French novels, right? If there's a book that you really like, um, it's it's your favorite book of all time, but there's a French version of it, you know, read that, right? It doesn't have to be this kind of original source material in the language that you're learning, right? Um, it could even be things like, let's say that you really like uh, video games and you want to um, read video game news, right? Well, put the website uh, of the of the of the news that you're consuming in French or try to find a French source for that news, right? There's a lot of different ways to kind of approach finding that compelling content. Um, you know, I think that the key is to st have a starting point of, you know, what are you interested in? What do you like? Um, what do you want to learn about? And then go seek out content from an audio perspective, from a reading perspective um, that you can use in your language learning, right? So. Um, you know, if you enjoy gardening or you enjoy um, cars or, or home repairs or something like that, you've identified that subject and now you're going to go find material from a reading perspective or from an audio perspective where you can have fun, it can be um, interesting for you, but then you're also getting your language learning in in the end of the day. So um, I think that's very, very, very important, right? That intersection point between very compelling material and also learning at the same time is inevitably like that I think keyed behind getting really uh, to a very advanced stage. Um, and obviously as a beginner, it's gonna be tough, right? Because you don't have that foundation in grammar, you don't really have a strong foundation in vocabulary. And so it's gonna be tough to enjoy some of that compelling content. But I think the key is to set a goal of you know what you need to acquire to get to that place where you can start enjoying Netflix shows or um, reading in a foreign language or whatever that is. And for most people, that's going to be acquiring a lot of words, a lot of vocabulary acquisition to get to that compelling stage. I think the last thing that I would point out is that even if you're already doing things where um, you're enjoying compelling content, maybe you're reading in a foreign language, um, you're listening to podcasts, it can, there can be points where you just lose motivation or the method that you're using or the content that you're using is just not very enjoyable anymore or it's lost its charm. 
you know, always kind of be looking for new ways to approach things or new content. You know, if the movie um, or TV series that you're watching isn't very fun anymore, you know, try reading in a foreign language or try a different series out. You know, um, nothing is ever static. Everything is always um, in motion and flowing. And so, you know, I think it's always important, even if you're enjoying compelling content right now, to, you know, make sure that you're having fun in the process, right? You want to be effective in your methods, but also be having fun. And there's going to be points where you're not motivated or the content that you were, you were using just isn't as fun anymore. So try to seek out that fun material, that compelling content, because that's going to help you to learn better, but also enjoy the process overall. So that's what I had to say. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.